Do these motherboard manufacturers just think we're made of money or something? No, 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 no. What we need is good and affordable Intel B760 motherboards. And one good option like that is the MSI Pro B760 P Wi-Fi, which at its current price is one of the more budget B760 motherboards you can buy. And in fact, you can get it in both DDR5 and DDR4 flavors. But what exactly did MSI do to make it so cheap? Well, starting off with CPU power, here we have 12 plus 1 plus 1 power phases, which is, well, pretty typical for such a low-end motherboard. Now, that is by no means bad, and combined with the 8-pin and 4-pin you get for CPU power, your CPU, whatever it is, will still have more than enough juice going to it, even if you do apply a slight overclock. But then when it comes to the PC expansion, uh, MSI? What on earth did you do here? Because MSI decided to give this motherboard a whopping 5 PCIe 16X slots. MSI, what kind of expansion do you think people buying a B760 motherboard are doing? Because I'll tell you one thing, they're definitely not doing this much. And while of course it's always nice to see so much PC expansion just in case, it's almost a detriment, it's so overwhelming. Firstly, there are no 1x slots or 4x slots, and granted while we can put smaller cards in those 16x slots, we can all agree that it always just looks better to put them in the designated slots, rather than making them use up a slot that is several times bigger than them. And secondly, it left almost no room for M.2 storage, seeing how this motherboard only has two M.2 slots. A pretty poor showing, even for B760 standards, especially seeing how neither of them are PC Gen 5 either. Though at least you do have four set connectors, which is pretty average for B760, so whatever. Then there's the rear I.O., something that MSI have been pretty good at this generation. You do have six USB Type A ports, which sure isn't most in the world, and unfortunately only two of them are USB Gen 3, but it's still decent for the price you're getting. And keep in mind, this thing is pretty cheap, relatively speaking, you can't expect wonders. You do at least get a USB Type C port, even though it's only 10 gigabits per second, and I gotta say, crack me up that MSI described it as a reversible USB Type-C port, as opposed to all those non-reversible USB Type-C ports, I suppose. Though hey, at least you do get the full array of audio options with 5 audio jacks and optical spidiff, something you don't even get in some of the most high-end gigabyte motherboards this generation, so good on you MSI. And rounding out the options on the rear I.O. panel, we have 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E, integrated display port and HDMI, and ooh, even PS2. Nice touch, MSI. All in all, I mean, what can I say? It's a pretty cheap board, you can't expect much. But still for the price, it does offer some pretty compelling features. So if you want to get it yourself, then make sure to use Amazon links down in the video description below. And while you're still here, make sure you check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Oki Beach, Tim Rage, Elav Ronyak, Baj Velka, Meg Sumner, Shane Ulcroft, Lansby, Jesse Herbman, Shannon Odgan, and Level Up. Down you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.